All righty, folks, the new investor series continues. I hope you're enjoying this series. Yes, we have a playlist on this channel called New Investors. I think we're up to almost 20 different interviews with more and more to come. We try to do these on Sunday morning. Uh, we have Caesar and Owe with us today. Owe, why don't you get us started? What's going on, man? How are you? Hey, Mike. Michael, thanks. Thanks. Um, good morning. Um, it's an honor being here. New channel, longtime fan. Uh, so a uh, quick background about myself. I'll just start off. Um, so um, I'm a husband and a father of three wonderful kids. Um, I'm an executive for a tech consulting company. So that's my W-2. I've been doing that for more than 20 years. Uh, with regards to real estate, I'm a buy and hold investor. Uh, I have 16 units across multiple locations. So not, not really uh, just focusing on one location, but um, several locations like uh, Pennsylvania. So Pittsburgh and Philly specifically. Uh, Wisconsin, so Racine and Milwaukee, uh, the Philippines, and I'm based here in San Diego. Okay, so very, that's very me. cool. Awesome, Owe. Uh, Caesar, how about you? So I'm actually classmates with Owe back in college. Yeah, so it's long, long time ago. Long time from the friends. Philippines. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we're both from the Philippines. We migrated to the states. Uh, I'm also buy and hold, mainly in SoCal, hmm. uh, and we just follow what you do and we try to improve ourselves we work together to try and improve ourselves yeah so let me so let's poke at that a little bit so uh you guys really don't have an overlapping all you're both buy and hold check but you're you're in different markets uh right. oe you're kind of out of state caesar is it fair to say you're more local like you live in southern yeah, california local. all of that mm -hmm. all right uh but it sounds like you guys have, have um how'd you so you were classmates now, did yeah. you come out from the Philippines to the U.S. at the same time? I mean, what? what? No, no. <laughs> so uh, I'll start and Caesar, you can add to it, right? So again, like what Caesar mentioned, we were classmates, again, a long time ago and um, kind of lost touch, right? When, you know, uh, we started work and um, Caesar, start, you know, went uh, first um, moved here to the U.S. Um, much earlier. I moved here only, in, I think, around 2015. Okay. And um, I was initially based in the East Coast, uh, so Pittsburgh and Philly. And then when I moved here in San Diego during the pandemic, we kind of caught up. And then that's what I found out. You know, um, I got caught of the real estate investment bug. And then that's what I found <laughs> out, like, Caesar is also investing um, in, in SoCal. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, is it fair? Was Caesar? Did Caesar, you close the first deal? Who got their first deal? I did. Yeah. Ah, so I'm... Awesome. Awesome. I'm what I consider an accidental real estate investor. Okay. All so, right. So I bought my first property back in 2009, a long time ago. It, it was oh. a condo. Okay. Uh, back then, a lot of properties were a bit lower, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I had the Dave Ramsey mindset that oh. debt was bad. So I paid off my condo in like seven years. Wow. All right. And then 2020 happened. Uh. COVID, a lot of people were stopped buying, right? So yeah, I was able to get in March. So it's another good price. Wow. Uh, and then after March, everything just skyrocketed, right? And so I thought to myself, maybe there's something more into this real estate thing. Okay. And so I found your channel. Uh, I found Ovi to be doing the same thing because it's COVID. You could all you yeah. do talk to your yeah, friends, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we, we started doing a mastermind. Uh, we started learning what you teach, mm -hmm. uh, surrounding yourself with the right network of people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, big deal. Yeah. And then 2001 happened. You told everyone to buy real estate yeah. December 2021, just before interest rates went up. Yeah. And so I got another one. Nice. Yeah. Everything in Southern just, California? Everything in Southern California. I started off with the expensive market of Orange County. Yep. Now I'm in uh, Riverside County, which is a bit cheaper. And oh, yeah. yeah. Very family-oriented uh, mm -hmm. neighborhoods. Yeah, I like the Inland Empire. It's, it's, it's kind of what I call the Fresno of Southern California. It's yeah. kind of my, you know, my... That's why I always watch Omar. Yeah, Omar. Yeah, <laughs> you, got, you got to talk to Omar. He's awesome. O Omar's amazing. Uh, all right, Owe. So uh, Caesar gets out of the gate fast, becomes an accidental landlord. A little bit of Dave Ramsey. So in seven years, he pays off his condo. What's kind of your story? Your story, Owe? Yes, I, I think I'm also uh, in a similar. Uh, and uh, when I when I moved here, uh, my thought was, okay, in order to to buy a property, I had to you know make sure I had to put 
uh, you know, 20, at least 20% down and, you know, pay, pay that off quickly. Cause that was really the mentality, even, um, you know, in the Philippines, right. That, mm. that it's bad. Right. Yep. Uh, but when COVID happened, I had what you call Michael, the light bulb moment. Right. <laughs> um, cause I, cause I was been, I've been, do, I've been in the industry for about 20 years, you know, and, um, I, I knew I wanted to try something different and I wanted to kind of move the needle in terms of, you know, um, you know, getting retire, retiring early. So, mm-hmm discovered bigger pockets um, and then just started consuming a lot of this material. Uh, the benefit is because I traveled a lot before the pandemic, I knew about these markets. So I was based in Pittsburgh. When I moved here in the US in 2015, I was based in Pittsburgh for about two years, then moved to Philly for about three years. So mm-hmm. I knew the, the market, I knew the area. So it was just a matter of, okay, how do I find a good real, realtor uh, establishing that team? Um, and also a lot of the things, that's why I went out of state. Of course, it was driven by you know financials, right? But at the same time, I had some skills because my role as an executive for a tech consulting company, I work with a lot of offshore folks. Mm. So I had those skills uh, that will help me work, you know, if I have to work yeah. with a team remotely. Sure. Uh, but I wasn't just contented in just, okay, every, uh, everything being remote. I actually flew in, uh, flew to Pittsburgh and actually met with the team. I met with the realtor, nice. you know, I met with my property manager uh, and really trying to establish a lot of that process early. And I was, I, you know, my first property that I bought was a duplex property in Mount Washington. So it's, it's, nice. it's, a, it's a good neighborhood in, in Pittsburgh. And, um, and I, you know, uh, after I did that, I was able to, you know, Rinse and repeat, like okay, this prop process. As long as you're able to do it, um, you know, you, you know the the steps. You have a good team in place. You can do it. And I expanded my 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 area to uh, to Milwaukee. Uh, you know, new new market, uh, new team. But I had to establish. Uh, as long as I had a good um, team that I could trust, mm-hmm. I was able to do a lot of that. And I also started doing partnering with other folks because in my work, none of the, the folks I interacted with at work was doing this. So yeah. I told them, "Hey, you want to try this?" And um, yeah. I, you know, and started partnering with them. Yeah, yeah Caesar, yeah. you had something, yeah. Yeah, so I was one of those. Yes, yeah. Uh, yes. I was a hard money lender for OE. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's and how I, deep we support each other. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty that, amazing. So Caesar, that, I do have a question. Uh, you talked about buying that condo in 2009. You paid it off in 2016, if I did my math right. Uh, is it still free and clear, or did you go back and get a stupid low interest rate on it? Nope, free and clear. But that's the ah. gunpowder for the next one. Oh, okay, all right. I like that. Yeah, it's it. You know, it's not bad. I I call it my oh, you know, my oh blank pile, right? The the just in case pile, break glass if needed uh-huh. pile. That makes total sense. Um, so I'm curious. You guys obviously have a history. You're doing the same things. When did the idea for you know, kind of a collective mastermind. And again, this this is not a paid mastermind. It, near as I can tell, it's yeah. just a bunch of buddies who are supporting each other mm-hmm. uh, and kind of moving it forward. So where where did it go? Because it's more than just you two, right? Correct. And there's yeah. three of us. Yeah. Oh, there's a third. Shout okay. out to Noel. <laughs> yes. Noel? Who is doing wholesaling? I, I'm and uh, you know, and also started exploring that um, nice. business as well. So I think it, it. I think so. We were all college college buddies, right? Um, right. And then it. it um, uh, I think I'm not sure if it was Caesar or myself who kind of suggested it, but we we were meeting because again, pandemic. Everyone was just doing Zoom calls, and we were thinking, can we just structure this that it's more like a mastermind? And um, yeah. and Caesar came up with this checklist of okay, these are the things habits that we need. And I think it's initially it's- started just improvement improving ourselves right right yeah so it's actually your list michael that's what we use uh, yes. your exactly. weekly weekly goals that's what we use exact template oh wow wow that's so awesome. you you really have a big influence on what we do <laughs> yes correct. <laughs> yeah i really you know actually it's funny right before the show i just started to, i just reported my week one goals for for 2024 and it really is about the activities that feed the goal right if you want to get mm-hmm. a rental property well what is the activities right? You want to lose weight. What are the activities? You want to yeah. make more money. What are the activities? And if you could break it down into activities and then track your effort against said activities, the results happen, right? Um, something yeah. I've learned for selling software. And, and Yeah. And, and, but just going back to what you were asking, we started by reading books actually. So 
bigger pockets they always have this what books you've read we we actually uh read some of those books oe uh myself and the other members of our group right mm -hmm. and and everyone tells us to surround yourself with with like-minded people even on your rules right mm -hmm. uh audit your network so yep. i basically just wanted to surround myself with with the right people because yeah. you have to recognize that you can't be the best version of yourself by yourself. Uh, you just, even, even with your own circle, right? Even with your own family. Like yeah. my, my parents had that uh, Dave Ramsey mindset, have pet, that is bad. Mm -hmm. And when you start reading books, you just opens everything. And when you go out to different circles, you try and imitate what successful people do. Mm -hmm. And that's what we just tried to imitate. Yeah. And just to add to what Caesar said, like there's a lot, I think a lot of when we go to this invest, uh, you know, uh, real estate investing, it's about the mindset, right? Mm -hmm. Having that positive growth mindset, extreme ownership, a lot of the things mm -hmm. that, you know, also Ben and Michael, you know, uh, we, we went through them as well, uh, making sure that, okay, you, you have that, you have a clear goal. Um, because um, when I started, I, I, no one was doing this, similar to Caesar, right? My family, Although my family were was into real estate um, investing business in the Philippines, it was buying properties, uh, you know, all cash, right? That was their approach. Um, <laughs> and um, you know, I knew that uh, I had to do something different because, again, my my background is my 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 dad uh, worked overseas, mm. and um, and to support us, right? Um, really to you know uh, to to be able to save a lot to invest uh, more, but that took time from me spending time with the family, but uh, him sure. from spending with the family. So I didn't want to do that. I wanted to change something to make sure I'm able to spend time with my uh, with my kids. Um, but yeah, going back, it's about the mindset, really making sure that, you know, to Caesar's point, surrounding yourself with uh, good, in, you know, people that can support you very positive. I think that's what we've been doing, um, you know, in the last uh, you know, two years, two, three years, just really supporting each yeah. other's uh, endeavor. Yeah, so so both of you both of you came to the United States as college grads, if I have the story correct, got you know good jobs, um, and it really seems like you both have called out Dave Ramsey, kind of the debt is bad, right? So save, 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 debt is bad. Um, was there a book or was there any light bulb moment that's like you know what, that's a tool. It's not necessarily bad. It certainly can be bad. But it's not necessarily bad. You, you kind of remember when that light bulb went off, um, guys? I, I yeah, think for me, yeah, it's COVID. Sorry, Ovi. COVID. Uh, I think for me, it was COVID because when I saw the, the prices skyrocket, mm -hmm. I, I knew I had to do this more and I had mm -hmm. to find ways to do it more, right? Uh, and so I, I recognized that paying cash all out, I mean, putting a lot of money, right? Mm. Uh, the cash on cash is very slow or very low, right? Right. Yeah. So I, I just have to find different uh mindset, different ways to do things. Okay. Yeah, I I've, I think for me it was really also the timing, right? Because I knew that okay, because that was my initial mindset, uh, saving up, you know, to to pay for, uh, you know, um, uh, to pay for a home, right? Uh, but when I when I had this time horizon, I started having a clear vision. Okay, what do I want to achieve? You know, this is how much time I have uh, in terms of wanting to work. Um, I knew that, okay, that can be good debt can be used really to what you mentioned, Michael, as a tool to accelerate a lot of the things that, you know, um, what you're doing. But you, of course, you still need to have that discipline, right? Making sure that you're frugal, uh, doing all the things, uh, to, uh, being financially, uh, you know, uh, educated and uh, conscious about how you spend, um, you know, your capital. Um, so with that and using debt as a tool, you can really accelerate a lot of the, you know, um, your investments. So yeah. that was for me the light bulb moment when I when I tried to figure that out and listening to folks like yourself who was able to do that and um, you know talking to people uh, how they were able to grow their portfolio. That's yeah, and awesome. just to add, sorry, Michael, mm -hmm. the the two point the under three percent interest during COVID that was a game changer, right? Yeah, because you you wouldn't find money like that anymore. No, and so that just kick started everything for me. Yeah. Did you were on that uh, deal, uh, Caesar? You got in March of 2020, which, by the way, great timing. Did you get a pretty low interest rate on that one? Two point three five. 
as an investment loan? Nope. So that, oh, that's actually what I do. I, I Yep. So you I move, move in. I, yeah. yeah. Yep. House hack. I, I try to fix it up. Right now I have uh, another property I got December 2023. Nice. Another December property. December deals are there. I know people don't understand that Caesar. I mean, just, I mean, you do all this work all year and then December comes around and you just never mm -hmm. know who has to sell. Right. Yeah. So yeah. tell us about the December deal you got. So it was a military family. Uh, they were being shipped out to another state. I, I didn't find the deal right away. Um, mm -hmm. But the other party who made an initial offer backed out because they thought there was a roofing issue. Okay. The roof wasn't leaking. It was bad. It needed some maintenance, mm -hmm. but it's not bad. Uh, I had someone check it. I mm. uh, haven't moved in, so maybe yeah. fingers crossed, right? <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. So yeah. that's your strategy, and, and, right? Buy with owner -ock financing. Yep. Buy a fixer-upper, live there for a couple mm -hmm. of years, move on to the next one. That's that's a beautiful yes. strategy. And in, in my first condo, I even house hacked. I didn't even know it was a house hack. <laughs> You didn't even know what you were doing. You were just living cheap. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, uh, given that both of you are immigrants, um, is it fair to? I, I have no idea, right? I was I was born in the U.S. and 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 so were my parents. Um, is Dave Ramsey like a big deal in the Philippines? Both of you are from. The, I mean, like his is this like his books translated uh, to Tagalog or whatnot? I don't know. He's, he's not. He's not. He's not no, I don't think no, but I think it's principle. I think it's principle of um, okay. that all debt is bad. Debt is bad. That, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's something constant. you got from your parents. Is yes, debt is bad. Think, okay. Yes, because um, again, you, you really um, uh, there's this mentality that you know you have to pay for everything, mm. all cash up front. Uh, and is there uh, a mortgage my, in the Philippines? Forgive me, I don't know. Are there mortgages? Yeah, yeah there, there is, there is, but it's oh. mostly adjustable. Uh, mortgage. Uh, bad, bad. Yes, bad. exactly. There is a thirty-year fix, uh, but it's it's pretty capped. Like how much you can, like you know, uh, on on how much you can take a loan okay. on that. So That's there are, but but it, it's not very common. Got it. Well, let's and talk about amazing, the mastermind. Michael. Go ahead, Caesar. Go Sorry, ahead. it's it's amazing because people in the Philippines pay for properties in cash. Yeah. How long do they have? So, to, I have no idea what a property costs in the Philippines. I mean, are they saving for decades? Caesar? I don't know. I, I don't know. Actually, it's just surprising because I, yeah. I couldn't afford yeah. that. Yeah, it's very common, right? Paying cash. Okay, very cool. Well, let's talk about the mastermind because I think there's a lot of new investors. Um, in, in Whether you call it a mastermind, a group, friends, whatever you want to call it, um, with, with today's technology, it's so much easier to mm -hmm. reconnect with people or even, frankly, get new friends. And how often do you meet? Is it like Is it like once a month? Or you guys have group chats that just go on? How, how would you coach somebody who wants to get three or four friends together, like-minded friends together? How, how would you coach? Caesar? let's go to you first. So um, we, we we meet every week, every Monday. Okay. So we have that hot seat sometimes where Ooh, people who awesome. needs help or someone who needs help would talk more. Uh, sometimes I have a deal. We, oh, we would review the deal or mm. our group would review the deal. So it's just having someone to have a second pair of eyes, right? To check yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, I like it. Because uh, like it or not, you inherit the habits, good and bad, of the people around you, right? Amen. So you just have to be aware mm -hmm. of uh, the habits that benefit you. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. our, our, my friendship with Ovi goes a long way and it yeah. is certainly beneficial for the both of us. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, besides just looking at the deals, there are things like the checklist, like, okay, uh, have you been doing this? Like, current commitment. So it's a way for us to keep each other accountable, right? Like, okay, we Absolutely. have these targets. Oh, um, and it's it, and it revolves around a lot of things, right? Health, um, you know, the books Good. that we read, um, you know, our deals. And we uh, keep each other accountable, uh, provide feedback, and um, encourage everyone. Like, we just help each other, um, you know, uh, uh, if they're struggling, like what Caesar mentioned, he has, if he has a deal, he wants me to look into it, or I have some thoughts. Okay, how do I approach this? Um, so those are things that you know we we do in this mastermind, and even um, outside of these meetings, we would send each other, oh, hey, here's a great book that I've I've looked at. Hey, here's a video from Michael. Take a look at it. <laughs> so we again we we um, try to keep in touch and uh, and 
but that weekly cadence helps us just uh, keep each other accountable. That's pretty awesome. So what do you what do you guys uh, what do you guys see in 2024 for the group? Uh, what do you see for yourself individually? Uh, you know, it's, we're on, what is it? January 7th. So, you know, we've yes. got one week down, we got 51 weeks left. Oh, we, what's, uh, what's 2024 for the group and for yourself, uh, personally. Yeah. So 2024, I'm looking to continue to scale my portfolio. Like what I said, I buy out of state invest, um, you know, property, uh, out of state properties. Um, and what I've started doing is really, um, doing more burr. So I did, uh, my second, uh, burr starting December. So like Caesar, I also got a December deal um, mm-hmm. wherein uh, I would buy a more of a distressed property, uh, specifically yep. in Pittsburgh and Milwaukee area. I have a, you know, a realtors uh, who provide, who sends me deals. And um, I ha- I've already established um, some relationship with contractors there uh, recommended. And I also met with them and uh, we would fix it up uh, and then uh, take cash out. And um so I'm looking to do more of that uh, in uh, 2024. I have also partnered with one of our uh, co-mastermind um, colleagues um, to do more of like a wholesaling business here in SoCal. So we've started doing that as well. So really expanding the portfolio and, um, you know, uh, learning about, you know, I know 2024 is going to be an interesting year with rates going yeah. down, right? And I, I agree with what you're saying, now, Michael, uh, if it goes down below, like below five, it will unlock uh, that yeah. demand, but at the same time, the supply issue is still there. So that's yeah. going to be a, a concern. Yeah. Very, yes. Very that, that's, that's the plan. Well, Caesar, you just closed on a deal. So you have some work ahead of you, I'm sure. Uh, but what does 2024 hold for you, Caesar? 2024, the most exciting event in Feb. I'm going <laughs> yeah, with my wife. True. Always going with his wife. Yes. And some other buddies are going as well. Oh, that's awesome. Well, let's make sure yes, we get we're excited for that. Too. Take a group photo. That'd be that'd be very very. Yeah, cool. I need to get my book signed. My Michael. oh, bring bring your books. Yeah, bring your books. I'll sign them. Bring your cards. I'll sign them. Uh, I, I yeah, it should, I look forward to putting names with faces and and shaking some hands. It should be a lot of fun. So uh, yes, yeah, long long time it. coming, long term yes. coming. So uh, very very. I thank you for that. That's gonna be a lot of fun, Caesar. Do you think uh, Caesar, you'll do another deal in twenty twenty four, or do you got a year ahead of you of repairs? Uh, a year of repairs in an ADU. Uh, oh, I okay. Yeah. All right. So I have a, a lot uh, in the backyard, which can be an ADU. I haven't uh, started talking to to people, but I found someone who might be able to help. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't met him already, Derek, that ADU guy is amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. He'll be at the event too in February. So uh, definitely get some questions for him. Um if somebody wanted to follow you guys, maybe reach out and ask if they could join your mastermind. Uh, maybe some other Filipino uh, followers out there. Um, they don't have to be Filipino, obviously. I'm just yeah. happy you are. So. We're, we're open, uh, Michael. Yeah, there We're you open, go. especially for the people in your boot camp, right? Oh, uh, uh, there you go. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm on Instagram, uh, Cesar Cruz III. I'm the third. Uh, so okay. Cesar Cruz the third. All right. And yeah. Owe, how can they find you? So um, I'm also in all the social media channels, Orange Juice Properties, which is the name of my company. So I I, I, I do um, Reels, uh, TikTok, um, uh, YouTube shorts, uh, and um, I do a lot of content talking about out-of-state investing, uh, real estate investing. So um, yeah, follow me there. Very good, guys. Thank you very much for being willing to do this conversation. Thank was you great. very much, I, Michael. Uh, thank you for being here. And we'll see you both uh, in February. Take care. Later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.